What is going on lads, it is the Midnight Kid here and welcome back to another episode in this series where we take a look at the best players in all positions for all budgets. So starting us off today, we are going to be taking a look at centre backs is Naldo, 4,900 GP, Naldo the Destroyer, he is an absolute beast, look at those stats, 73 jumping, 71 physical contact, 80 or 74 heading, sorry lads are getting carried away, player skills, heading, man marking, interception, sliding tackle, aerial superiority, you name it, he's got it. He is the man for the job. Now, he he can only play centre-back, and if you do have a fast, mobile centre-back already in your squad, I think he could be a really nice addition to that. If you don't, and you need like a, a, a pacey uh, centre-back instead, I would definitely choose the next option as the main guy to get. We have got Jack Bauer. So Jack Bauer from 24, he can do it all. He is an absolute unit. He can play any position that he possibly wants on the pitch, He's got 74 speed, 70 acceleration, 74 stamina. He's also got the AI playing style of speeding bullet and early crosser. So this guy is the definitive kind of right back, right mid hybrid player that can get up and down the pitch. He's got nice stamina. He's got nice aggression. He's got all the nice stats that you could possibly want. He's only 7,500 GP and he plays in the Belgian league for St. Thrunden. Um, he's a defensive full back as well by trade, so he won't be as offensive as some of the other guys and I think he's a really nice fast mobile option as a center back next up if you're looking for just pure power height and you're not too worried about anything else that you just want to stop through balls or kick off glitches or corners or whatever I've spoken about this guy before from Brentford Iyer so obviously I think he used to play with Celtic and he is an absolute beast 196 centimeters but look at the height of him look at the strength of him and he's still got 74 pace he is in my opinion one of the most overpowered and over um used center backs from a lot of people that are starting off their squads for good reason I think he's just an absolute unit he was in my overpowered videos or my overpowered center back video as well so make sure and check that out I'll go into a bit more detail with him Timber. Now, this guy was probably a hidden gem for about maybe 20 minutes when the first uh, update went live for V0 point or V1. He was like an absolute unit on the pitch. Now, Sep was actually the one that told me to get him. I had spotted him in the transfer market, but I hadn't really, I hadn't really played with him. But I did buy him as a backup to Reese James, and he's like eighteen thousand GP, which is nothing when you're starting off. And he can play a lot of positions as well. Look at his height or his mix between speed acceleration jumping and stamina and all his player skills i definitely think if you don't have him in your squad even if you've got a god squad i definitely think he's worth a shout next up is a guy that i i kind of i really struggle whether i should include in here or not the leon man playing in league one 32 000 gp there are players better than him stat wise in when you go searching right but something about him on the pitch that just really, really, really works. I don't know what it is. It's a mixture of his player skills. He's got fighting spirits, sliding tackle, blocker, which is very important to stop balls going through and making last ditch uh, challenges and the AI make like certain unique animations. Um, but I did struggle to put this guy in and then I decided, no, do you know what? He was an absolute beast in Pez 2021's My Club. And anyone that I asked this year has said that he's a similarly beast in this game so for dream team he is worth a shot next up we have got barcelona's araujo again you can just have a quick look at his stats there there's nothing really that jumps out that is gonna like shout off the page to you and say yeah this guy's got insane stats for here or here he's just a very 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 good all-around player now i don't know what i recommend him above timber but when you train up araujo fully which I've spoken to a few people that have, he seems to outperform Timber by, by a bit. So that is up to maybe personal preference or personal choice as to how you want to play, you know, kind of a taller defender or a stronger, fast defender or whatever way you want to do it. Up next, we've got the creme de la crop, Kimpembe. So these next four are kind of like end game center backs that if you get one of these you're probably not going to need to upgrade them for a long long time unless you get the featured version of them or whatever these guys are just absolute you know beasts and tanks defensive awareness tackling aggression all in the 70s low pass 71 speed 70 he's got blocker he's got acrobatic clearance he's got fighting spirit man marking he's also got way to pass so he's able to start counter attacks nice height as well he is definitely one of the most OP players in the game. And for 76,000, just buy him. You will not regret it. A bit of a, 
a bit of a, a mixed one here, right? So I've spoken to a lot of people about Pau Torres. I know a couple of you guys in the comments in previous videos have been telling me about him. He, he does have some really nice stats. And as, as I said before, I'm going to be doing a video on form quite soon, which is very important, as somebody mentioned in the comments below, that, you know, when the form stops being updated, it will be very, very important to have unwavering form for most of these players. So I'll get into that in a little bit. But Pau Torres, obviously playing for Villarreal, didn't have a great night last night against the pool, but he is an absolute beast, lads. He can play centre back. He's got pace. He's got power. He's got height. He's got everything that you could need in a centre back. But the big man I would think you should be getting is this guy, Kula Bali. 300,000 GP. So he's three times more expensive than Pau Torres and about five times more expensive than Kimpembe. So it does, you know, beg the question, which we're going to look at in a second over on eFootballDB.com. You know, is Kula Bali worth this price? You know, if you are obviously a budget team, and you're going to be spending this much money on a centre back. This doesn't really apply to you. I think the last, the first five players on this list apply to you more. But for 300,000, I mean, you are getting, and he does exactly what he says on the tin. There's obviously one more defender we'll cover in a second. But let's just take a quicker look or a closer look at Koulibaly when we do have the player progression in. So this is in beta at the moment on eFootballDB.com where you can actually put up the progression points, give the player how many progression points that you want and then simulate what he would look like by throwing them into his stats. So it is in, <coughs> excuse me, it is in beta at the moment. But as you can see, it works really nicely to give you a rough idea of what the player will look like when you train him up a bit. So that is something to check out. Link in the description below. You can see his speed there and acceleration is what I've concentrated on to give him a huge boost. And I think when we look at Van Dyke, who is 490,000 GP as our last option, that is what I'm really looking at in comparison to Koulibaly, is the speed versus the kind of pure out-and-out -out defensive capabilities. I think if you have Van Dyke you probably don't need another top, top, top class center back. You know, you could genu genuinely get away with having, you know, Timber at the back and turn him into a really speed uh, merchant at the back to mop up everything from, you know, that Van Dyke is a little too slow to get at. Or else you could get Van Dyke and just train him up a bit, you know, speed. But he's never going to have high acceleration. So make sure you keep an eye on that. But that is it, lads, from me. I'll be back again with another episode. Huge thanks for you guys supporting these. And any more suggestions suggestions, suggestions that you have, let me know and I will uh, do another video on it. But yeah, there's more coming. Thanks for all the support. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Peace.